The biosensing prototype was developed through uh, participatory design um, with the actual artists. So we worked with them, looked at what requirements they needed, and then it was my sort of job to go away and to build the prototype hardware. Um, through working with the artists, we sort of identified that it's some of the biosensing capabilities that we could um, use. So what came from that was the heart pulse, um, breathing rate, body temperature, and galvanic skin response. Within Data Lab. I'm involved in development of the back-end systems. This includes things like the trigger editor and data storage repository. The data storage repository basically takes incoming data streams from various subjects and stores that data for later use. The trigger editor allows us to create rules, actions which take place when certain conditions are met. To be sure that the system is an open platform, it has been developed using PHP and deployed on a standard web server. My role was to get the um, project essentially to talk to social networking. So uh, we set up a, a we set up a connection to the Twitter API to allow us to send messages to Twitter. We created a, a, an account with an SMS company to allow us to send messages via uh, SMS texting, and also we sent out messages via email. So it was uh, in email interaction. We also had a uh, EEG um, to be able to measure brain waves which was uh, quite challenging as um, there are quite a lot of brain waves but we managed to track it down, uh, managed to get, narrow it down to measure alpha and theta waves so in, in other words when the uh, candidate was wearing the headset they could relax and then action the trigger. Okay. So we started to look at uh, a different approach and this was initially to change the microcontroller from an Arduino Nano to uh, a relatively new board. It's called the Android IOIO, um, known as a Yo-Yo. And basically it's a sensor board that then can be connected to an Android phone. And the Android phone, we write an app for that, that will do all the processing and uh, take the input from the sensors. So. The Android phone can do the upload and the Android phone can do the GPS. So that covered the two disadvantages that we had with the previous revision. Yeah. Okay, so um, we took this board and put it inside a, a little box. You can see there there's the sensor input. Uh, we've got an on and off switch and USB out. The USB goes out to the phone, connects to the phone, and the two cables come up to the sensor belt. So uh, we've got red and blue. The red one's powering, uh, send, sending power up to the sensor belt, and the blue one is sending uh, data back down to the board. On the inside of the sensor strap, this is a standard polar um, wear link, uh, coded transmitter, magnetic wave. Uh, it's got two electrodes, two fabric electrodes on the inside. So we have now integrated a little daughter board just in this little gap at the end. Um, that daughter do 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 board consists of the GSR sensors, which are um, have been adapted so rather than to using electrodes. We have now got just two little strips. It's basically like a little lie detector kit. And as your skin touches the, 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 um, the strips, the galvanic skin response you know, due to your sweat is, uh, is measured. Uh, there's, a, there's the temperature sensor built into there. And the stretch sensor is now integrated into the end of the strap, which then allows us then to use that as the clip, and we can get the the breathing, you know, the expansion of the of the chest. So this all runs down and runs into a little app. So this so it's the Android phone that is the processor and is doing all the calculation and the I.O. board in there is basically a slave device to send through the data through. So if I start up the app, the, the board is running. So the top one is pulse, so that's the individual pulses, and the second one would be the BPM. As I'm not wearing this, it's just waiting to be, uh, to be triggered. 
the breathing rate comes down to the stretch sensor. So as I stretch this, we get a different value. Uh, the temperature and the galvanic skin response. It's also showing the latitude and longitude of my current position. And every 20 seconds, it uploads to the, to the server. We're playing with this 20 second things at the moment. Um, ideally, we'd like to reduce that down so that it was a complete real time, but we'll, we'll see. You can see there now, it's, uh, it's uploading, it's stored for a second, and that data has gone straight through to the server. And that is our little biosensing Android yo-yo prototype.